Hey Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you for being here with me today. We are going to be looking at when you will potentially reconcile with a special person. So if there's an ex or someone on your mind, someone you want to reconnect with, we're going to look into when you could possibly reconnect or reconcile and how that will play out. So this is intended for all air signs watching. Um, also to the cross watchers, if you're dealing with an air sign, this reading can be for you as well. So um, thank you everyone for liking, sharing, subscribing, signing up to men uh, membership on the channel. Uh, if you're after a private reading, please feel free to email me. Otherwise, uh, let's see what's coming up. When will you reconcile? So when is that? reconciliation coming with your special person. Okay, so, so far in terms of time frames, Taurus has come up very strongly. So we've got... Um, <clears throat> potentially May, okay, April, May, and we also have cancer season, which is June, uh, late June to July. So April, May, June or July seem to be a very important time as to when you may be reconciling. What I love is that you have that 10 of cups here and you can see these lovers are holding each other. So it's very likely that you'll be seeing each other in the flesh, reconnecting, going on a date together, um, potentially reuniting families here as well. So some of you are getting back together with someone you've got kids with or you know there was some sort of family dynamic um or your kids will be reunited especially if you have like a blending of families so that's like the reconciliation card here and i feel like it's a positive outcome we've got the rainbow the rainbow comes out after the storm so i feel like you need to go through the hardest part air signs before you can receive that rainbow and you know it's it's often the case, right? It's always darkest before the dawn. We need to, you know, it's that that concept of us needing to go through all those hard yards before we get that um, chance. And I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, if a reunion is coming, I feel the Ace of Pentacles is telling me um, that it's very likely that once you hook back up with this person or you get back together with them, it's very likely that you could be together for a long time. Um, because that Ace of Pentacles promised stability. So it says that this reconciliation, um, it's going to be more stable. So one of you, maybe both of you, will want things to be more stable and more long term. Um, and you've got the marriage card with the Hierophant. So for some of you, I'm seeing with that reconnection or reconciliation, marriage is very likely in the cards here with the Hierophant. Because that's the marriage card here. King of Pentacles is the last king of the deck. He's the last character of the courtly characters in the deck so this could very well be the last person you're with as in like last person you're intimate with your last boyfriend girlfriend because it's like it's the person that you're going to want forever with and you won't be interested in anyone else so it's very likely for those of you that are wanting a reconnection um this could bring potential for the two of you to be together forever okay so there's a foreverness here so It almost looks like the sun. We've got the sun and the moon. This is divine masculine, divine feminine. The moon is also like intuition. Um, it's also like, so the, the Taurus is love. The Taurus is that Venus energy. And then you have the moon. So you're both, um, you're both potentially missing each other, okay? You miss the life you had together. Maybe you had kids, you were married, you lived together. And since you've been sort of parted, things have been imbalanced. So we have this imbalance here, okay? So one of you is possibly doing worse off than the other. Um, it depends who, but one of you is like more desperate than the other. The other one sort of got the upper hand in the relationship. But either way, I feel you both have felt some sort of imbalance in your life since you've both been separated or since you've both been away from each other. It's created imbalance. Um, it's made them look at life differently, I feel, being without you. Uh, I feel like with the 
with the Eight of Swords, I think it's something about them not knowing what you've been up to. So I don't know if you've closed down your social media, if you don't respond to this person at all, or you, you know, if they ask you about you, you don't really tell them those personal information because Eight of Swords is like the, the fear of not knowing anything. So this person is wondering about you. They're thinking where you're at, what are you doing? Who are you doing it with? Who are you doing? Um, so just to get a little bit cheeky, um, so it's like they're having these, these anxious thoughts about you. Now there's still love that exists. So I'm not surprised we've got the queen of cups. So they still care. Um, and I feel like they'll tell you this when you reconnect, they might also even tell you that they've been insecure about, um, about you, but I feel like there's communication that's coming in. I'm getting their signs. The eight of ones is like when we see signs from the universe, the moon is also intuition. So I get that you're going to see signs from your intuition that this person is going to come back in your life, air signs. The moon can also rule dreams. So you might have a dream about this person or a dream about them texting you or calling you. And then it just so happens to play out as you dream. So like it's highly intuitive energy. You might dream about numbers or dates even. Um, if you're really looking forward to this person coming back and reconnecting, you could even like predict it. Especially if you've got that... Um, that strong psychic ability, you know, those talents, or even if you don't, you know, you might dream, it could be like a premonition or a thought um, that comes to you and sort of predicts. Um, but there's lots of like yellows, there's like little, you know, yellow and blue sky. So I'm seeing it's probably a day thing. They might reach out during the daytime or you might uh, organize lunch together. It seems to be reconnection throughout the day somehow. Um, or you might like be talking to them on the phone or receive their email during the day, during the work day, uh, or you might even choose to meet up. We've got the moon here as well. So it can be night, um, but I think that's more to do with intuition. But if the two of you have worked on each other and you've done your own thing and you've realized that life just isn't the same, it's imbalanced without the other, I feel like there could be that realization coming for the both of you and both feeling that you're going to be like, okay, wow, life just isn't the same without them. Um, and I think, you know, seeing that ace here, it could very well indicate that this time around, you'll be more serious this time around. You'll want the family, you'll want the marriage, you'll want to move in together. You'll want to do the things maybe you didn't get to do the first time around because that's, that's telling me you both will want more stability in your life. Um, you'll both want things to sort of calm down and settle down, especially if things were like messy or just, you know, all over the place before. This time around, I feel like you'll both be determined uh, to make it happen and to make, uh, you know, to be something more serious. You know, this is sort of going all the way with your relationship here. So um, look out for that Taurus and uh, Taurus and Cancer seasons, because that could be when they are making an appearance back in your life. So... I'll leave it there, Air Science. Thank you again. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Also to subscribe and join membership to the channel for extended readings. Otherwise, take care, lots of love, and bye for now.